Hey everyone, Kenny here from True North Social. I've done a couple videos now on Instagram story ads for followers. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna also do a video for feed posts for followers. And my last video, we focused on business manager and how to set up basically story ads all in there specifically for growing your followers on Instagram. Uh, we had a targeted pretty broad audiences to get the most out of, you know, the most bang for our buck. And uh, I'll do some future videos on really targeting much more narrowly, like state focused or just USA um, with, you know, interests that have to do specifically with either your product, your service, or, you know, if you're an influencer, what's related in your niche. Uh, but today I want to talk about tracking followers properly. So it's... It's been difficult to track followers to say the least, uh, especially when you're using ads to grow your followers because Facebook, I say Facebook, but Facebook owns Instagram. So when I say Facebook ads, I just mean Facebook and Instagram ads. Uh, but Facebook's business manager, which is where we're running everything out of, it, it doesn't show us how many followers you got from running an ad. You know, I mean, it's really built for like website traffic or add to cart or uh, checkouts on a site, things like that, email sign up. Um, but not really for followers. I hope eventually they catch up to it, um, especially since it's such a pay-to-play platform You know, at this stage. Uh, it just seems dumb not to have that as basically an analytic in there or a metric in there. Um, so I wanna show you the tool that I use to track followers, and then I basically do some simple math in order to determine how much a follower is costing me, uh, and then we can scale our campaigns from there. So uh, I'm gonna jump over to the computer and show you what we got going on. So here we are. Uh, this is a tool I use, it's called socialblade.com. Let's go to the homepage real quick, socialblade. And uh, they do analytics for you know a bunch of different platforms here. Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a bunch of things. Um, but since we're focusing on Instagram, I'll click on Instagram. You can come over here without having any account and just plug in you know a username and it will immediately give you a grade. Um, basically like what they're doing here is determining the ratio of comments to how many followers you have, likes to how many followers you have, everything like that. And then below, they'll give you a short snapshot of your daily growth. And why this is important to use a tool like this versus Instagram's business manager is that if you're in business manager uh, and we go into a campaign I've got here, uh, even if you adjust the columns, which will give you um, you know, different metrics in here, uh, there's, there's nothing in here for followers. Like if we customize the columns when we search followers. So page likes or followers is for Facebook, not for um, Instagram. So not helpful. Uh, so that's why we need to use a tool like Social Blade. Now let's talk about real quick how how this another reason why this is important so if we go into um the insights on instagram and i just took a screenshot if we go to into the instagram the the insights you'll notice on here that it only shows friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday the past week of growth this is not one of my accounts we're definitely not uh growing by zero <laughs> but I just wanted to give you an idea of if you're in the Instagram app, maybe you want to look in the Instagram app as opposed to business manager. Um, this is all you're going to get just the last weeks, which I th is a great addition. I think it's, you know, it's putting us on, you know, the right trajectory eventually to hopefully get followers as a metric. But yeah, so on social blade, um, they'll give you basically the past like 20 days or so here. And then if you come up and click detailed statistics, it will show you quite a ways back. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll look at my spend, let's say over the past, whatever it is, let's just say 60 days. And I'll add up all the followers here. And then I'll take how much I'm spending. Let's just pop this open, 20 a day. So I'll times 20 by 60 days and I'll find out how much I've spent, take how many followers I've got, divide how many followers by the spend, and then boom, I've got how much it's costing me for a follower. 
Uh, I generally, just for reference in terms of the previous videos and this video, um, I wanna see like 50 followers a day, especially from a wide audience. And that's on spending 15 a day. Uh, this is actually in uh, Canadian. So we're not looking at USD here. Uh, their dollar is slightly higher. So that's why it's showing 1980 as a daily, but it's $15 USA. Um, and yeah, uh, the other nice thing about Social Blade is if you create an account, you can create Instagram favorites. So you'll see here I have 36 accounts in here. I can actually have 100. Um, but I'll track the statistics from all 36 people so I don't have to come up here and type in the name over and over again. I can just click on this, it will show me all 36 people, and then I can see the detailed statistics of each person. Um, Social Blade is my favorite. It's especially because of being able to you know, create favorites. Um, but there are also things like IG Blade, uh, which is very similar. And the other one is that a lot of people have been talking about for years is Icona Square, and their user interface is fantastic, but it's nowhere near um, as accurate as this is. I will have some days where I'll go on the Instagram app and it will show me, like let's just say this day, for example, 159 followers. I'll go into the Instagram app and it will show me you know, 70 followers. So there is some kind of discrepancy, but generally I'll just, it's usually spot on. Uh, so I have no problem or being comfortable coming back in here for the last 60 days, adding it all up, tallying it up, do the math and find out, you know, or, or even the last 30 days, 1400 followers. Well, how much did I spend to get 1400 followers? Um, and you know, that's going to vary by how good the content is and how well the targeting is set up, things like that. But yeah, this is a short video guys. I just wanted to give a brief uh, overview of social blade, which is what I'm using to track followers. Uh, when I'm creating reports for people, usually I'll use a combination of Icona Square, which we'll pull up here real quick. I'll use uh, Icona Square just because there you can see on here actually, just from these screenshots, this is actually what it looks like when you're logged in, uh, how good this looks. And so I'll take screenshots out of here, combine that with you know everything that I'm mathematically equating out of here, and then use that as a report for someone. So yeah, just a short video on Social Blade. I wanted to make sure you guys knew what I was using on a regular basis to track Instagram followers if I'm doing ads in order to grow an account. I'm gonna do some more videos here on new apps I've found that I think are fantastic for creating story ads. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe. It all helps. See ya.